was watching the last
Hello. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 Scholarship Awards Night. I'm Andy Servideo. I'm the Director of Guidance here at the high school. And i like to congratulate all of our, our seniors and welcome everyone here tonight. To begin the night, I want to introduce a few people who are here with us. We have our superintendent, Dr. Amy Burdos. Our assistant superintendent, Dr. Stephanie Burrows. And our college counselor, Mr. Bruce Hamilton. <laughs> Presenting awards to our seniors tonight will be our building administration, Dr. Jim Donovan, Mr. Joe Scazzaro, and Mr. Rich Janine. And we'll also have one of our guidance counselors, Ms. Erin healy Batella. <laughs> we are gathered here tonight to celebrate the recipients of the town scholarships. Post-secondary education is expensive, and the generosity of our sponsors will financially help assist and offset some of the costs that students will face next year. Students, when your name is called, you're going to go to the stairs on the far end, on the stage right, cross the stage, down by me, back to your seat. I'd like to begin by inviting Ms. Kami Tidoldi up to present the first two awards. Good evening. It is, with, it is with great pleasure that I present to you tonight the Sam Burns Award of Excellence. Sam was an admired, loved student in our community who also held a special place in the heart of our music program and band. Sam was a person of high quality and integrity. Sam's spirit and positivity was unmatched, and he made us all smile in his presence. Although Sam faced many challenges in his life, he rarely let those things get in the way. He was giving, kind, and always kept a can-do attitude. Beginning in 2014, this award is given annually to a student in the Foxborough High School Music Program who exemplifies the following. Positive outlook, can-do attitude, strives for excellence, looks out for their peers, is teamwork oriented, takes that extra step, and goes out of their way to enhance the FHS music community. The scholarship is donated by Sam Burns' parents, Dr. Leslie Gordon and Dr. Scott Bur Burns, towards post-high school education, including military service. Sam's parents are unable to attend tonight's presentation, but they are very, very proud of this year's recipient and wish them all the best in the fall. This year, it is with great pleasure that we present the Sam Burns Award of Excellence to Amelia Lacey. <laughs> Amelia. Amelia exemplifies all the criteria for this award. This fall, Amelia will be attending the Kilachand Honors College at Boston University, majoring in music with a minor in math. She is kind, encouraging to others, and a servant leader. We are grateful to Amelia and all that she has contributed to the music department and all that she represents. And we believe Amelia embodies the legacy and values that Sam shared with us throughout his life. Congratulations, Amelia. It is with great pleasure that I present the Stephen C. Massey Student Scholarship. This evening, the scholarship is named in honor of Mr. Stephen Massey, who served as the music director and band director from 1980 until his retirement in 2017. Under his direction, the Foxborough Music Department developed into one of the premier public school music programs in the United States. The scholarship award is awarded based on the following criteria to a graduating music student who demonstrates strong leadership by acting as an exceptional mentor to peers, exhibits a strong work ethic, shows personal integrity, demonstrates maturity and responsibility, is a strong musical contributor who provides positive modeling for the entire music ensemble, and understands and, hum and helps promote the culture, of music, uh, the culture of the music department, both in the department and throughout the school community. This year's recipient of the Stephen C. Massey Scholarship is Liam Ernst.
Liam will be attending Temple University with a major in jazz studies. Liam is a percussionist that performs at a high level on his instrument and takes great pride in helping others succeed. He has spent countless hours studying his craft in order to be at his best and give back to his ensembles and the music community. He served as a section leader and executive board member and consistently gives backs to those around him. On behalf of Mr. Massey, his family, and the entire music department, we are very, very proud of you and wish you all the best, and we know you're going to do great things. The John J. Ahern Scholarship is being given to five students. Christina Brightman, Dijanae Melendez, Braden Pace, Samantha Sloan, and Paige Taylor. Please come up. Helen Ray Begain lived her life in Foxborough and was employed by the state as an accountant for 70 years, as well as serving on Foxborough's personal wage board. To honor her memory, the Helen Ray Begain Memorial Scholarship was created, which is being presented this year to Shannon McElhenney. The Zarita Berlin Memorial Scholarship goes to Sam Carpenter. Debbie Burl Kennedy is here to present the Burl PTO Scholarship. Good evening. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Um, Mabel Georgiana Manderson Hill Burl. Since many of you may be unfamiliar with the namesake of the Burl School, let me take a few minutes to just share with you a little bit about my grandmother. Mabel was born in Northern Ireland in 1885. She crossed the Atlantic when she was six months old with her five-year-old sister and her parents. They settled in uh, Revere in Boston. She graduated from the Lucy Wheelock College in 1907. She started her teaching career in Boston. She was very active in the women's suffrage movement. She married my grandfather in 1911, and once the family grew to four, they decided to move out to the country, and they settled in East Foxborough. She, uh, while the children were young, Mabel served for 12 years on the school committee. She was also president for three years. During World War II, she organized and rolled bandages for the Red Cross. She was active in many town groups throughout her life church committees, and far too many groups to mention. She didn't drive, but she was never home. At the end of World War II, there was a shortage of teachers, so the town called upon Mabel and asked her to substitute at the Pratt School in East Foxborough just till the end of the school year. And she taught first, second, and third graders in one classroom. That became a very long substitution. 
A few years later, she was awarded the Freedom Foundation of Valley Forge Outstanding Teacher Award. There were only five in the state that has received that. Along the way, she became the principal, and in 1961, at the age, young age of, 19, of, of, sorry, of 76, she retired. At that time, 65 was a mandatory age to retire from teaching, but she f would forego her pension and stay on. She substituted until she was about 90, and she was also noted for taking all of her students to the circus each year in Boston, and she instilled in them a love of country, respect for one another, and a strong sense of community involvement. Her former students often visited her um, right up until the age of 102 when she passed away. She remembered all their names and much more about them. The pictures you're seeing are of her 100th birthday party held at the school. She was a remarkable woman with boundless energy, amazing organizational skills, and a very big heart. So each year when our committee assembles to choose a recipient for the Burl Scholarship, I always reflect on my grandmother's life and career and her principles that guided her, and that helps me with my recommendations. So let me move now to the recipient of the Mabel Burl Scholarship. This senior is someone who holds a very busy schedule as well, a top scholar in his class. He's participated in three varsity sports, captain, captain of one. He's held many leadership roles in the concert choir, science club, being the change club, community warriors, uh, three honor societies, logged many volunteer hours. In his essay, this scholar spoke about gaining confidence in himself while he was at the Burl School and how his teachers encouraged him to be himself. He developed that strong work ethic and discovered the value of dedication and persistence. Oh, my grandmother would be proud. So am I. So um, you've also come so far from playing that lemonade stand customer number seven in the third grade. So I'd like to ask Cooper Hassman to come forward. Sarah Foley is receiving the Sarah Jane Cassie Scholarship. The Dennis Colwell Architect Scholarship goes to Michaela Peck. <laughs> the Korea Family Scholarship is present being presented to two seniors, Jake Ferguson and Anya Fitzpatrick. Abigail Gallagher is receiving the Mary Louise Cronin Scholarship. <laughs> the 
The Mark Daniels Memorial Scholarship goes to Jacob Bridgham, who is not in attendance tonight. The Norman and Jeanette Daniels Scholarship goes to Ashley Shaler. Jesse and Lula M. Dix Memorial Scholarship goes to Lauren Andrews. <laughs> Casey Dahl is receiving the Marianne and Peter Doss Scholarship. <laughs> Megan Lathrop is receiving the Easter Chapter of the Order of the Eastern Star, Ruth and Dexter Strip Memorial Scholarship. Amanda McCabe is being awarded the Christine Marie Esposito Memorial Scholarship. The Foxborough Education Association Scholarship is being presented to two students, Catherine Cotter and Bernie Leggett. Foxborough Firefighter Local 2252 Scholarship is being awarded to Laura Grenier. Kevin Keeney will now present the Foxborough Freemason Scholarship. I'm not going to be saying much, but I'm here to present the Foxborough Freemason Scholarship Award. This award is sponsored by the two Masonic lodges in town, St. Albans Lodge and J. Philip Berkowitz, and it is my pleasure to present it to Peter Suladin. I got it wrong. Foxborough Garden Club scholarship is being awarded to Marco Pacini.
Megan Keeney and Gabrielle Powers will both receive the Foxborough Historical Society Scholarship. Gabrielle is also receiving the Foxborough Lions Scholarship. Next, Sergeant Val Collins is here to present the Foxborough Police Relief Association Scholarship. The two recipients of this scholarship are Finn Stapleton and Maya Warriors. Diane Krentzman will be presenting the Foxborough Rotary Service Above Self Scholarship. Good evening, everyone. My name is Diane Krentzman Porter, and I am proud to be the president of the Foxborough Rotary Club. We believe very much in service above self, and that is an international principle because Foxborough Rotary is part of Rotary International, which is an international organization that has a direct relationship with the United Nations. You should be proud of your own local chapter, the, the Interact Club here, and the beautiful peace pole that they have located right outside this entrance because we are very proud of the work that they have done as well as all of the students who believe in com uh, community service. Um, each year, Foxborough High School uh, gives out a, uh, a Rotary Scholarship to somebody who exemplifies the notion of service above, above self. But it is not the only scholarship that the Foxborough Rotary is giving out. So if you are here tonight and you are still looking for a little bit extra scholarship money, we still have some scholarships to give out. So if you go to the Foxborough Rotary website, foxboroughrotary.org, we will be happy to accept your application for the next two weeks. There will be a special ceremony on August 14th where all scholarship recipients will be invited and given their certificates at that point in time. We are very proud of the, of the recipient of the Foxborough Rotary Service Above, upon self, Service Above Self Award. And your guess is as good as mine. The recipient is Amelia Lacey. Foxborough so Soccer Association would like to present their scholarship to two of our students, Lauren LaValle and Alexander Penders. The Foxborough Youth Basketball Association scholarship is going to two seniors, Paige Curran and Mitchell Sham. The James Robert Freeman Foxborough Lions Memorial Scholarship is going to 
Catherine Ruo. The Great Trek Scholarship is being awarded to 10 students. <laughs> Louis Carangelo, Jack Collins, Samantha Conley, Joshua Conley, Casey Dahl, Cooper Hassman, Daniel O'Malley, Chris Pru, Alexander Stern, and Maya Warriors. The Joseph Heinricher Memorial Scholarship is going to Justin Morrison. The Honeydew Donuts Scholarship goes to Rory Casey. The Highland Family Scholarship was started in 2013 after the unexpected passing of Kevin Highland, a dear friend of the scholarship's founders. Danny Marini, Jim Furlong, and Marisa Collins have continued to shepherd this scholarship in honor of Kevin and his parents who were humble, humble pillars in the Foxborough community for many years. Barbara, Barbara Highland served locally and statewide as, in social and political roles sir, uh, as a state representative for Massachusetts. George Highland was a dedicated member of St. Mary's Church in Foxborough and served his community through his vocation as a social worker and later in life as a lay Dominican. Kevin lived to help others through community service, helping others in sobriety and loyalty to family and friends. And so, the Highland Family Scholarship supports a Foxborough High School graduate whose heart is to serve and whose mind seeks to find solutions where human beings are vulnerable. The best to you and thank you for the difference you will continue to make. This year's recipient of the Highland Family Scholarship is Elena Rogers. Maya Warius is the recipient of the Vincent M. Igo Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Catherine Ruo is receiving the Pam Pamela Kelly Memorial Scholarship. I am pleased to present the Jack 
J. Kersner Annual Scholarship to C.J. Sykes. The Lakeview Pavilion Foundation Scholarship is being awarded to three students, Joshua Conley, Ava Kellaway, and Brooke Tierney. Delia Fitzgerald is receiving the Massachusetts Elks Scholarship. The Joseph C. Megan Memorial Scholarship goes to Addison Yozo. Peyton Francis is this year's recipient of the Rudolph J. Narciso Scholarship Trust Fund. The K.C. Naylor Taylor PTO Scholarship goes to Alexa Correa. The Patricia E. Noonan Memorial Scholarship honors FHS Class of 1979 graduate Patricia, who overcame many health battles. The Noonan family is honored to support Maddie Mayer in her goal of a career in health care. This year, the William Palladino Memorial Scholarship goes to Cooper Hassman. The Jeffrey Parker Scholarship is being awarded to Andrew Finn. The M. Pete Parker Memorial Youth Baseball and Softball Scholarship goes to Matthew Corderoni.
the Partners in Patriotism Scholarship is being awarded to five students. Casey Dahl, Peyton Francis, Lauren LaValle, Daniel O'Malley, and Peter Swiden. I would like to present the Oscar and Ruth Ruth Scholarship to Samantha Conley and Mallory Ma Meyer. Ellen Pillsbury is here to present the Jerry Roy Memorial Scholarship to four deserving seniors. Good evening and congratulations to the Foxborough High School 2023 scholarship winners and their families. I'd like to thank Diane McDermott Roy, excuse me, for giving me the honor of presenting the Jerry Roy Scholarship to a group of fortunate students who are very talented. I had the pleasure of meeting Jerry in 2000 when I started working at FHS. Jerry was the art department head and I worked in the guidance department. Both my sons had numerous classes with Jerry and I got to see as a parent how involved Jerry was with his students on an academic level and on a personal developmental de and personal development level. Working in the guidance department, I also got to see so many other students benefit from Jerry's talent, generosity, compassion, humor, and love. Jerry's relationship with his students was very unique. The students and Jerry would often joke and play pranks on each other. The students felt that they could be themselves with Jerry, and it was a safe haven with him. They're, they were a family. The students in Jerry's classes flourished in their craft, whether it be sculpture, graphic design, painting, or photography. Jerry made every student in his classes feel that they were welcome that they had a place where they were accepted, a place where they were supported, no matter what level of skill they had, and most of all, a place that they could call home. Jerry continues to give to his students, and you were all his students, even though he is no longer with us. It is with great pleasure and fond memories of Jerry that I present these most generous memorial scholarships to the following four students. Olivia Alexis in art, Kyla Palmer in art, Christina Brightman in education, and Lucy Wiemet in education. Congratulations again and best wishes to the entire class as you start your next big adventure. Next, our principal, Dr. Jim Donovan, will present the Schneider Electric Scholarship. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to read the following uh, on behalf of Schneider Electric. 2023 marks the third year of Schneider Electric's 10-year, $100,000 commitment to create a scholarship fund for Foxborough High School graduates pursuing careers in STEM, 
science, technology, engineering, and mathematics professions. We and our employees are proud of the company's century-long association with the town and our active leadership role in helping to advance the needs of important business, civic, and educational initiatives. Our aim is to support the communities where we have a presence and that our employees call home. As a global company, our aspiration is to improve lives by bringing energy, efficiency, and sustainability for all. We also believe in offering equal opportunities to everyone, everywhere, and we want our employees, no matter who they are or where in the world they live, to feel uniquely valued and safe and contribute their best. Our aim is to ensure that our people reflect the mix of diversities, gender, generation, nationality, LGBT+, and disabilities, and found in the global and local community in which we operate. This evening, we are pleased to be awarding scholarships to two members of the Foxborough High School class of 2023. The two individuals were selected from among a field of 25 applicants who will be pursuing STEM-related fields of study next year. Each of the students had an impressive resume of academic credentials and community engagement, social awareness, and future goals. But two of the candidates, by their accomplishments, essays, and intended pursuits, stood out to our selection committee as the most representative of Schneider Electric's passion and commitment to STEM, education, diversity, and inclusion. So tonight, Schneider Electric is proud to announce that the 2023 recipients of the Schneider Electric Scholarships in the amount of $5,000 each are Sophia Sigaris, who will be studying at the University of New Hampshire, and Christopher Pru, who will be studying at Boston University. On behalf, <laughs> on behalf of Schneider Electric, best of luck to them, to them, and to all of the members of the Foxborough High School class of 2023. The Sharon and Crescent United Credit Union is proud to present their scholarship to Matthew Sullivan. I would like to recognize Katie Bangura, Jamie Kenzel and Dijanae Belendez as this year's recipients of the Spear Family Foundation Scholarship. Sohaib Abdelrahim and Finn Stapleton will be receiving the Garrett Splain III Memorial Scholarship. Edward D. Thomas Trust Scholarship goes to Anya Fitzpatrick. I'd like to ask Rachel Henderson to come up to present the Jackie Thomas Memorial Scholarship. Hello everyone and congratulations seniors. My name is Rachel Henderson and I'm a graduate of Foxborough High class of 2008. Two weeks after my high school graduation, a very close friend and fellow Foxborough graduate passed away tragically in a car accident. Her name was Jackie Thomas, and I am joined here tonight by her brother Maddie and mother Michelle. It's been nearly 15 years since her passing, and not a day goes by that we don't think about her and miss her dearly. 
Jackie was never able to pursue her dreams of continuing her education after high school, so we started this scholarship to help a senior in her memory. This year, we are pleased to present it to Jenny Gallagher. Next is the MM Vital Music Memorial Scholarship. This year's recipient is Liam Ernst. The Caroline and Eva Waterhouse Scholarship goes to Ethan Emerson. <laughs> Michaela Peck will be receiving the David Withers Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Our last award of the evening is the Norfolk County Teachers Association Book Award which goes to Lucy We Met. <laughs> Congratulations to all of our seniors tonight. We have awarded 88 scholarships to 66 students totaling over $187,000. Again, <laughs> again, we want to thank all of our sponsors for their tremendous generosity and support of the Foxborough High School class of 2023. I would like to take a moment to give a huge Huge thank you to our guidance secretary, Ms. Meridian Peterson. She coordinated this entire scholarship process over the past several months. From creating the PowerPoint of how students would apply, to working with the sponsors, to organizing everything, putting the slideshow together, and even clicking slide by slide tonight. Thank you so much for everything, Meridian. We couldn't have done it without you. Finally, thank you, family and friends, for joining us this evening. We look forward to seeing you at awards night tomorrow and graduation on Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your night.